Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Smelly cat, smelly cat, it's not your fault. Smelly cat, fear not, some of these remedies can really help you out. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe. Hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Click directly in the box below. I can send you a copy of my free book. <laughs> Why are you smelly? Murray actually smells pretty good, but it would not be unusual for a cat that is overweight to have a bit of an odor. It can come from their mouth. You're not uncommon get cats with serious dental disease, a really nasty smelling odor from their mouth. It can come from them being overweight. They maybe had a little bit of diarrhea. They're unable to groom their rear end. Could be an anal gland issue with their rear end. And or there may be a urinary tract issue. They're leaking a bit of urine. You get urine in between the skin folds. You got a cat that's overweight especially. They can't groom themselves properly. You can get a smelly cat. Today's remedy in involves three parts. First, we have the antiseptic cleanser. We're gonna get rid of all that excess debris, help deal with some of the bacteria, some of the yeast. Next, we're gonna be wiping off the soapy part of the cleanser. Then third, we're putting on a topical, which is an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. Today's antiseptic wipe, it starts with nettle tea. We've got one cup. Next, we have apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons. Third, we have all natural Castile soap. We're putting two tablespoons in of the concentrated Castile soap. We're gonna mix our Castile soap, apple cider vinegar, and nettle tea mixture well. A more common cause of having a smelly cat would be having urine, feces trapped in the skin folds, growing a bacterial skin infection. This is a great antiseptic cleaning combination. First, we have the apple cider vinegar. It is antibacterial, antifungal. Help remove some of that bacteria. Secondly, we have the Castile soap. It is a great soap base to help us remove that excess debris. So the apple cider vinegar can do its thing, deal with the bacteria, maybe deal with the fungi or the yeast. Third, we have the nettle tea as the base. The nettle is also a good antiseptic. But even more importantly, it provides some antihistamine, anti-inflammatory properties, which is what you want for damaged, inflamed skin. So for sake of demonstration purposes, we're just gonna soak some of this in a cloth. Let's just assume that Murray has kind of a bit of a smelly back end. It's safe to put on Murray. We could wipe around his rear. Yes, Murray. Helping get rid of, say, that caked on urine and that caked on feces. After you've cleaned the area, you can then just get a cloth, dip it in a little bit of water, just wipe off that area. So we're removing any of that soap that's present. The soap was just there to help clean it. That's right, acting as an antiseptic cleanser. Step three, to help our smelly cat become less smelly, we're gonna be applying some coconut oil to that fold. The coconut is soothing, it's anti-inflammatory, and it's antibacterial, and that's what we want. And then if your cat happens to groom himself because he's lost a bit of weight, he can lick that area, it's okay for him to ingest some of that coconut oil. You could do that twice a day, do that for seven to 10 days, and that should help cure your smelly cat if you have a smelly cat, you try these remedies, they help. I'd love to hear from you. Please leave your comments. I love your feedback. They won't take you to the vet. You're obviously not their favorite pet. Smelly cat, smelly cat, it's not your fault.